Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Winnette and you are tuned into Cooking with Win. I first wanna start off by saying Merry Christmas and I wish you guys a very happy and prosperous new year. Even though some of us gonna be celebrating our holiday far away from family and friends, but I mean, you can still make the best of it. So make this at home and enjoy your Christmas. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make homemade eggnog. So for my homemade eggnog today, I'll be using three cups of milk, one whole egg, four egg yolks, one cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, one cup of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one one third cup of rum. You can use the cold rum, the dark rum, or the spice rum. So these are the ingredients I'll be using for my homemade eggnog today. If you want to learn how to make this, stay tuned and keep watching. So the first thing to do is to go ahead and take your three cups of milk to the stove. Add your milk to a saucepan or to a pot. Take this to the stove and steam it on medium low. So you don't want this to boil, you want it to steam. While my milk is on, I'll be whisking my egg, my sugar, and my salt together. So you just want to crack it and add it to the pan. And the rest of it, you're just going to need the egg yolk. So I have one egg yolk in here. So to separate your egg white from your egg yolk, you want to crack your egg open and hold this at the end of the other shell and transfer the yolk in the shell like that. And let the white fall off, okay? So you just want to go, keep going till you have no more egg white left. And as you can see, I don't have any more egg white left. I'll just transfer it here. Another way to separate your egg white from your egg yolk, crack the egg open and just add it to your hands. Kind of open your hands a little bit and the white gonna fall off and the yolk gonna stay in your hand. So once the yolk stay in your hand, as you can see, I don't have any more egg white in my hand, I just have the yolk. Add it to the pan. So this you're not gonna need, this is what you need. Add your sugar and your pinch of salt. Whisk them together. Make sure there is no lumps or chunks of sugar. And once you're done whisking it, check on your milk to see if it has steam. If your milk is ready, bring your milk over. We're gonna be tempering the egg and the milk together. So I'll be adding in my milk and I'm just gonna keep whisking. So you can add it in slowly. And you're gonna be adding half of the milk and leave the um, remaining half in the pot. So I added half. I'm gonna put the um, remaining half back on the stove and I'll be transferring the egg and the milk mixture back into the pot. Same thing you did. So keep on whisking over here and add it in slowly. So now that you have your milk and your egg mixture in here, you wanna keep whisking till your mixture is thick. So the entire process is all about whisking. You wanna continue whisking for 15 to 20 minutes or until your mixture is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Make sure it don't boil, because if it does, your egg gonna cook. And you don't want that happening. That's why you need to keep your heat on medium whole process is all about being patient because if you try to rush the mixture by turning the heat on high you're gonna ruin your entire mixture because the egg gonna cook and you're gonna have scrambled eggs all in your egg now and you don't want that you want it as smooth as possible you're gonna cool this all in an ice water bath so make sure you have an ice close by or in your freezer. And while it's whisking, if you have someone with you, they can help you prepare your ice water bath, or you can prepare them once your mixture has thicken, if it's just you alone. I'm gonna use a spoon to test it. So I'm just gonna hold this. You see the line? The line stays, so that means it's ready. Turn my stove off, and I'll be transferring this the strainer so I have my ice water bath here and I'll be setting this 
pen over it and I'll just transfer this into the pen. And you just want to keep whisking so it can cool down. Make sure water don't enter this. I'll be adding in my one cup of milk. I'll add in my one cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna be adding one one third cup of rum. I have my one one third cup of rum. I'm gonna just pour it right in here. And you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna add all this. So you wanna keep stirring till your mixture cool down. You can add as much rum as you would like. You don't have to add exactly one one third. If you want your egg not relish corn, you can add more rum. I'll be adding a little more to mine. You know. So you see how smooth it is? No scrambled egg is in mine and that's how you want it. I'm gonna taste it to see if my rum is enough. Oh my gosh, guys. It tastes so good. Instead of one third, I added one and a half cup of rum. Cause I want it strong, but not too strong. And mine is ready. So I will take this from the water bath and I'll be covering this. So cover it with a plastic wrap. You wanna cover it as tight as possible. Two options. You can either let it stay in the fridge for two to three hours or keep it overnight and have it the next day. So I'm gonna take this to the fridge. I'll show you guys the final product once it's ready. So guys, this is my eggnog. Had it in the fridge overnight. And now I'm about to whisk them together and then add it to the cup or to the glass so you guys can see. That's the perfect consistency you want. Like you don't want your egg not too thick and you don't want it too thin. So this consistency right here is what you're looking for, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg on top just for garnish. And there you have it guys, homemade egg nut. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos, like and share with your friends and family, and leave me a comment if you have any question or concern. I appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the end of this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.